Hello again, and welcome to M. Howe Nines Fish Tanks, and welcome back to the fish barn. Today we're going to take a look at the clownfish breeding setup sitting behind me. So we're going to walk through the species of fish, a little bit on the filtration, and we'll walk over to the breeding setup, and we'll do a little bit of an update on uh, where we're at with the fry. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, we're now getting a look at the snowflake clownfish that have been producing the eggs that I've been trying to raise for the last couple of batches. Uh, the female just went to the back and the uh, male is still sitting there in the front. I apologize a little bit for the glare on the glass. Uh, if you go right here, right there are the eggs. Uh, so they do have another run of eggs and they've been spawning about every two weeks or so. So that's pretty normal for clownfish once they get going. Uh, I haven't raised any successfully yet, so I am going to get going on those and hopefully get that figured out. But that's the uh, first pair of clownfish. All right, so now we have a look at the uh, female uh, spot synctus. Uh, the species on this is Amphiprion by synctus. Uh, so these are uh, gotten fairly common in the hobby now with their uh, stripes. And then if we look over here, the male is sitting there in the back. He's actually got a better pattern. So I'm hoping to get some eggs out of these guys pretty soon because they're uh, they're at kind of the right age, but uh, we haven't gotten there yet. All right, here we have a look at uh, the lightning maroon clownfish I have. Unfortunately, I do not have a mate for this fish. I do want to get one at some point. I will uh, I will have to get a uh, probably a bigger tank for this fish. Uh, these are pretty aggressive. Uh, once they get bigger, so especially the females. <clears throat> so I would set this up so that this one is the female and then whatever one I get it would be smaller and be the uh, male. Alright, this is the uh, tomato clownfish that uh, I've just recently started getting spawns from. I've had these guys for a little over a year. Uh, they are doing pretty well, obviously, if they're spawning. So that's the big female. And there's the male. Um, so the males and the tomatoes are a little bit bigger. So I'm hoping to see a spawn here in the next few days from these guys as well. And then we can uh, get another batch of tomatoes going as well. All right, the uh, next fish here uh, that we're looking at is the uh, Trisynctus clown. Uh, he's a pretty rare clown. I've looked for years to find him. So unfortunately, I only have one. I do want to get another one at some point for one of these as well. Uh, these turn uh, really cool colors. They get older. They get a uh, kind of a uh, black upper and orange bottom. So I really like these fish, they're one of my favorites. All right, so now we're gonna talk a little bit about the uh, setup. So in here is the sump. Um, it is quite a bit of a mess of pipes and this is actually extremely simple. Um, all there is is there's a return pump in here. I'm going to be adding another return pump. And this is a basically uh, with bio balls and some filter floss on the top. And this is what I've been using in here. So it's a pretty simple, straightforward setup on this. Uh, nothing too special. I do have this protein skimmer that's right here uh, that I am gonna install in here. I just haven't gotten around to getting it on there yet. So that's where we stand with that. Okay, uh, we've now gotten to the uh, clownfish breeding setups here, the uh, larval rearing. Uh, unfortunately, I have now lost the second batch of Ocellaris clowns as well. So as I'm going towards settlement, I seem to be losing them. So I need to do some research and uh, figure out what I'm doing. So uh, this tank uh, had the original um, Ocellaris clowns in it, but uh, as of right now, uh, nothing's really in here. Uh, this tank has the uh, tomatoes. They still have not hatched yet, so I'm hoping for a hatch tonight. And uh, <clears throat> so that should be uh, coming tonight. And then uh, basically from there, we do have a uh, video coming here of the actual, uh, some of the larva. I did get a couple hatch a couple days ago of the tomatoes, so I do have some video of that I shot with my cell phone. Uh, that actually turned out pretty good. So let me go ahead and get that, uh, we'll get that rolling here and then that will be basically the, uh, basically it for the tour.